Hi, my name is Raz, and this is going to be my first vlog for my PC build. So if you want to check it out, stay tuned. Alright, so this is going to be an introduction video of the upgrades that I'm going to be doing for my new build. So I'm going to go with them one by one from what to what and why all right so on to the upgrades uh, but before we start i'm just gonna let you know that this is just gonna be a mid-tier or mid-level build it's not gonna be those fancy you know super expensive um builds so this is gonna be a mid-level just to let you know so let's right. start with the processor i currently have the intel i7 3770k and I'm gonna be upgrading to Ryzen 7 1700. Why? It's because it's actually all I need. I mean, I didn't go for the 1700X, it's because I'm gonna overclock the 1700. I mean, if, if the 1700X will be overclocked, it's just gonna be <coughs> close from if I OC the 1700. So there's actually no point with spending you know extra dollars for that and the 1700 comes with a cooler which is the rate cooling fan and you know it's bang for your buck so I think uh, it's worth the money and I'm giving AMD a shot since uh, this year they have been really you know good with their processors next with the motherboard I had the Z770 Extreme 4 from ASRock and I'm going to be upgrading to ASUS ROG Strix X370F and the reason why um, the X370 has more uh, potential for overclocking and although I'm not going to do a multiple GPUs it's just good for overclocking it's much more stable I was planning to buy the B350 but because it's cheaper but you know it's just not enough support since I'm gonna be doing overclock and water cooling and also it has you know fancy RGB next is the RAM so I had the G skills rip jaws DDR3 1600 uh, two of them in 16 gigabytes so I'm gonna be upgrading that to G Skills Trident RGB. Yeah, RGB again. DDR4 3200 and two 16 gigabytes. And the reason is, I mean, my G Skills has been really a champ after five years. So I still wanna stick to G Skills, but at the same time, I wanna try that RGB. You know, it's not much light, so it's just kind of subtle RGB lights which I like now it's not an overkill it's not like a Christmas tree you know next is the OS believe it or not I still have the Windows 7 Pro I mean I had the free Windows 10 when it came out but it messed up my system so I need to reinstall the Windows 7 but uh, right now I still have it and I think it's you know it's time for an upgrade so since we don't know Windows 11 will come out so I need to get on with that M.2 which is really new to me I haven't heard about M.2 after I did research on upgrading my stuff but I had the 255 gigabyte Toshiba OCZ NVMe M.2 and I'm really excited to use this as my boot drive because they say it's like times four times faster than the SSDs so I'm really excited with that so for referrals I got a new mouse uh, I'm replacing my five-year-old mouse Thermal Tech Theron to a Corsair M65 Pro RGB because RGB <laughs> all right so next the case I actually have a full tower case right now which is the NZXT Phantom the first one but it's not enough uh, support for water cooling as I have mentioned that I'm gonna be going as my, as my goal 
so from NZXT Phantom I'm upgrading it to a Corsair 780T which has plenty of room for rads you know rads so yeah all right so SSD I had two SSD one for boot and one for my software programs but I'm gonna be ditching out the first one because it's dying but I had the 240 gigabyte 730 series from Intel and it still works like a champ I mean that's where I store my software like Adobe and you know video editing programs and I'm still gonna be using that I'm not gonna be changing that or adding it uh, hardest drive I had the WD black 2 terabyte and I think I need one more because I have a lot of steam games and you know one terabyte has already been used up just for steam so I'll probably get one more for extra storage on the power supply I'm still gonna be using my current power supply which is an 850 watt NCXT Hale V2 it's a fully modular PSU and it still runs like a champ so I'm still gonna be using it until it dies and I have no problem with it and it's enough to you know power my new build so I'm keeping that one and I also had the 2 terabyte external from Seagate which I use to transfer all my files especially my Steam games so I could uh, format the WD Black you know fresh start and uh, before I add a new one and that's a uh, really helpful hardware so I recommend an external hard drive right, so that wraps up for my vlog one for this uh, episode of my PC build so if you want to check out more stay tuned subscribe I mean if you have any comments let me know if you have any opinions let me know questions let me know and I'll read them I'll probably take advice from you I mean I'm in no means a pro but I'm also learning so and hope this video also helps new enthusiasts to build their own PC and thanks for watching see you in the next video